Hello guys, welcome back to some Modern Man MTG here, and today we're going to be playing some Grixis Popper. Um, just your old, I haven't really updated it any, just your old 75 card uh, Grixis Popper deck. Um, and let's go ahead and jump into the game and see how it goes. If you guys have any suggested updates, go ahead and let me know down below to the deck. Um, if you guys want to see more Popper, go ahead and let me know down below as well. Um, I do have a few Popper decks put in the future to build deck list deck pile i guess um if you guys are interested in seeing those um, probably you could see them about once a popper match once a week maybe twice a week at most um as i said earlier i want this channel to be mostly focused on modern i just don't want the you guys to get tired of watching my videos and it's taking a minute to get a game going here unfortunately Sometimes it's like this, um, but go ahead and let me know down below, as I say in every one of my videos, or almost every one of my videos, rather, how you guys are doing. I like to hear about how you guys are doing. Um, also, I would like you to guys to send me, as I say every other time, um, any decks you guys think that are interesting, that you'd like to see me play, my take on the deck, anything like that. Uh, go ahead and let me know down below. And it seems like we got paired for opponent. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Opponent won the die roll, unfortunately. This hand seems pretty good. We got two removal spells and two draw spells. Seems all right. I'll go ahead and keep it. Opponent plays a Sift Water Cliffs. Passes the turn. I will follow my own Siftwater Cliffs and Paths to turn. Opponent plays an Evolving Wild, so I know they're not playing this deck. We'll go Urza's Mine into Prophetic Prism. I wonder if they're playing the Kiln Fiend deck. Kiln Fiend deck. Yeah, Spell Pierce. Thought they were going to Spell Pierce my Prism there. <laughs> Neat. Uh, opponent cracks the Evolving Wild, gets an Island. Opponent plays a mountain. What do you got? Nivik Cyclops? A brainstorm. That's an interesting card to follow up after cracking the Revolving Wilds. Puts two cards back. Cast a Delver of Secrets. Hmm. Here we have the choice of playing Compulsive Research, what I think we're actually going to do. Uh, just because we don't have our fourth land in our hand. So I think that's just the right play. I may be wrong, though. Let's go ahead and try it. We did draw a land, but it's not really the land we needed. Huh. This card, two cards. Um, is it just two Flame Slash? No, it's probably a compulsive research in a claim slash. Pass the turn. I like trickery. Card's pretty dead against us. I'm gonna cast a thermo electromancer or a thermo alchemist rather. Tax for three. Hold eighteen. We draw not Tron, unfortunately. So here we'll go red. Flame slash the. Thermal Alchemist. Play Power Plant past turn. I'm going to cast another Brainstorm. In response, we'll go ahead and fire off our Bolt on their Delver. The reason I'm doing it in response is because they'll have one less card in their hand. So we might as well do it then before they get their selection of cards. Crack their Evolving Wilds. Shuffle the cards they just put back. Cast a Kiln Fiend. My opponent's deck is very interesting. Um, here we'll play Guild Gate. Fire off a Bolt on the Kiln Fiend. Pass the turn. 
this is the point of the game this deck really wants to get to. This is the point where you're just like grinding your opponent. Um, and we know my opponent at least has one dead card in their hand, an Electricery. I'm going to place another Kill and Fiend. I'm um, probably going to prohibit that one. Just because I don't have another removal spell. Resolves, thankfully. I uh, drew a mnemonic wall, which I don't think I'm interested in playing right here. Um, so here I think I just cast the Mold Drifter. Draw a Guild Gate and a Flame Slash. Play the Guild Gate. Cast turn. I'm going to cast another Kill and Fiend. Draw Sift Water Cliffs. Go to combat. Attack the opponent for two. Opponent falls to 19. Go ahead and Flame Slash the Kiln Fiend. Play Sift Water Cliffs. Gain a life. Pass turn. Opponent has a Preordain. Has a ponder as well. We draw a Tron piece anytime soon. We can just start capsizing our opponent's lands. Um, we only have five mana, so I can't capsize the Thermo Alchemist, unfortunately. Draw a card. It's a Seagate Oracle. I'm not super interested in that. Um, hmm. It's going to find me in the third Tron land. It is not. Find me a Mold Drifter, though. Which is fine, I guess. Not exciting. Attack with the Mold Drifter. Opponent falls to 17. Pass turn. I take one. Opponent Lava Spikes me. I fall to 15. 14. Slip through space, sure. Thirteen. Nine. Okay, my opponent dealt eight damage in one turn. That's fair. But my Seagate Oracle cannot be blocked, just as an FYI. Not that it matters. Um, here. Oh, my opponent has Electricery in hand, so I'll probably just cast the Mole Drifter. Hmm. If I draw a Tron land, how much mana will I have? So I have 8 mana right now. Put me up to 6 so I can tap everything. So we can do a tap like this. Draw two cards. Hopefully find a tower. Did not find a tower, unfortunately. Play does get backwater, gain a life. Attack for three. Opponent falls to 14, pass turn. Draw a condescend, which is alright, I guess. Um I can get my Flame Slash back with the Mnemonic Wall, which I think I'm in for. Cast Mnemonic Wall. Get back the Flame Slash. But Flame Slash the Thermo Alchemist. I take one, I fall to nine. Opponent Apostle's Blessing with the Thermo Alchemist. <laughs> um, I'm 
That's fine, I guess. This isn't looking great for us. Uh, attack with two mole drifters. Pun of paint, fall to eight. Pun of falls to eight. Plant island, pass turn. Pun of pings me, I fall to seven. Pun of chain lightnings. Who's the chain lightning targeting me? I would definitely like to replicate this chain lightning. Target the thermo alchemist. Killed the thermo alchemist. Okay. Um, sure, I guess that's fine. A lot of people forget that you can copy the chain lightning. Draw a map. That pretty much puts the nail in the coffin for the other opponent. And they scoop it up. We're going to go ahead and jump into game two here and see what we got in the sideboard. So against that deck. Don't mind Magma Spray. I definitely don't mind another Flame Slash. Don't mind Nameless Inversion or another Chainer's Edict. It's fine. The spells are also fine. Not great. Um, hmm. Probably cut the Essence Scatter on the draw. As well as the maps. We don't really need the maps just because um, we're trying to be trying to interact with the opponent too much. Maybe I don't need the spells. More than the gate. Um... I guess I could shave a Seagate Oracle and uh, try it like this. Go ahead and let, let me know down below what you guys think about that sideboard there. Um, I'm not super experienced in playing Popper. Not the only time I play it anymore for games on the channel. Let me know how you guys would have sideboarded. Here we have Tron, but we don't really have anything. Yeah, I'll keep it. Just on the the back of this Echoing Truth, really. Opponent plays an Evolving Wilds, passes their turn. That's a pretty good draw. Play a Magma Spree. Or draw a Magma Spree, rather. Opponent gets an Island. Cast a Delver of Secrets. Plays a Mountain. Here we will play Guildgate. Fire off Magma Spray on the Delver. Pass turn. Opponent plays an Island. Cast the Thermo Alchemist. That's, um, I think I'm fine with that. So here we're looking for a Prophetic Prism. Or a Dismal Backwater. Neither of those cards are there. Um... I think I'd rather have a compulsive research to keep the card value train rolling. Pun of pink, ball 20. Plays a killing fiend. Passes the turn. Here, I think I had compulsive research targeting myself. Discard a land. I don't know which land I want to discard. Probably mine. Play a mine. Pass turn. And hope we don't die this turn. Pun of pings me. Call 19. Plays a sip water cliffs. Gain a life. Plays a Brainstorm. Okay. Right now I'm still able to block the Kiln Fiend. 
Not anymore. Cannot block the Killing Fiend anymore. I'm a lot more familiar now. Call to 18 from the Thermo Alchemist. 17 from the Thermo Alchemist. Lava Spike. Call to 14. That hurts a lot. Um, yeah, that doesn't feel too good. Call to 4. Draw a power plant. Not really interested in a power plant. Here we'll fire off a bolt on the kiln fiend. Maybe I should have bolted the thermo alchemist just because it represents more damage. Um. Hmm. Debating echoing through the thermo alchemist. Can I just be dead next turn? If I think I'm dead next turn, that's probably the play. It's echoing truth. Fault three. Go to combat. Attack for one. Opponent falls to 20. Play the Thermo Alchemist again. And a preordain. Drew the Dismal Backwater, which is good for the Nameless Inversion. Um, so here I think I'll just lead with the Mnemonic Wall. Get the Bolt back. Go ahead and Bolt the Thermo Alchemist. Gain a life from the Backwater. Attack the one with the Seagate Oracle. Opponent falls the 19. Slip through spaces, my slip, uh, my Seagate Oracle. Shame Lightning, okay. And I apparently died before my opponent cast another spell. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go to game three here, see if we change anything from the sideboard. Uh, maybe Essence Scatter now that I'm on the draw. Maybe bring back in the Seagate Oracle. Um, cut Prohibits. Yeah, let's cut Prohibits and see how this... No. Yeah. I think Condescends is better against my opponent. I'll try it like this. I would like to play it first. This hand seems spectacular. Let's keep it. We have two removal spells and a draw and two draw spells, so it seems alright. Play it. Guild gate, pass turn. I'm gonna play the Sifar Cliffs. Here I will play. There's more backwater and pass turn. I was debating playing the pro, uh, tower so I can prophetic prism, but I don't think it's worth it. Opponent has a delver. I'm just gonna go ahead and magma spray that. Or not? Okay. Um. Go ahead and fire off the magma spray here. Play Urza's tower. Cast prophetic prism. Draw a card. It's not a land, unfortunately. We are looking for a land. My opponent does not have a follow-up, which is good. Here we go. Compulsive Research, targeting myself. Opponent Counterspells. I did not think my opponent was playing Counterspells in their deck. Opponent Preordains. That's fine. Opponent bottomed or topped bottomed. Draw a land, which is fine. So I'll just play a prism. Draw a card from the prism. Draw another land, which is good. Fortunately, Flame Slash is a sorcery. 
want to play as a preordain. That's fine. So look how good these cards, the card arts from Morrowind are. Just think about it, man. That's all I want from you. Is to appreciate how good Morrowind art is. Look at these, these big ass lips on this fish. Come on now. Uh, opponent passes. That's a pretty good draw as well. So we'll lead with Flame Slash on the Thermo Alchemist. Opponent has a negate. That's fine. Since they're protecting it with so much, I think I should just fire it off with another Flame Slash. And then cycle a mole drifter or evoke rather. Draw condescend and another pulse, which is good. Opponent passes. Um, so I think here we'll just hard cast a mole drifter, trying to find that trap piece. We did not, but we found a Swift Water Cliffs and a Lightning Bolt, which is fine. Opponent plays another Thermo Alchemist. Um, here we'll lead with the Prophetic Prism. See if we can draw the Tron Land. We did not draw the Tron Land. I get excited because I accidentally sold my matching power plant art, so I had to buy, or I had five power plants, and this is the fourth one I had. Um, or the fifth one, rather. Lightning Bolt Thermo Alchemist. Negates. I condescend. Uh, capsize on top. As well as a bolt. Attack with two with a mole drifter. Opponent falls to 20. Opponent lightning bolts the mole drifter. Okay. Draw the bolt. Here we will play the Seagate Oracle. Still looking for a mine. Hers is mine. That's a power plant. Take the capsize, pass turn. Into my opponent's turn, I'm probably going to pulse the drifter back. Gain six, go to 28. Draw a counter spell. Attack with Seagate Oracle. Opponent falls to 19. Cast another Mole Drifter. I'm going to counterspell my opponent's counterspell. Draw two cards from the Mole Drifter. Play another Sift Water Cliffs. Pass turn. Go up to 29. Opponent played another Thermo Alchemist. We finally drew the Urza's Mine, so now we can just basically bounce every one of my opponent's permanents. Um, but we'll lead with the Bolt on the Thermo Alchemist. Go to Combat. And my opponent scoops it up. They didn't even get to see the cap size, uh, unfortunately. Um, as always, guys, remember to like the video, video and comment down below any suggestions you have um, for my play, any updates you guys would like to see, anything like that. Remember to follow me on Twitter and email me any interesting decks you guys have from that you would like to see me play. Um, both of those links will be posted down below. And I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.